What's good, streaming people? Tommy Tran, CBS Sports HQ with my guys, Tim Doyle, dressed amazingly today in the tux, and Nick Bogdanovich, Director of Trading, William Hill U.S., joining us from Las Vegas. Nick, we saw the odds for Giannis Antetokounmpo, the betting favorite right now. Take me through what you guys had to adjust game to game here. Yeah, it's obviously been a, a lot of action, hasn't it? Last time we taped last week, Chris Paul was minus 220 to win the MVP, and the Greek Freak was plus $2. So uh, the script has been completely uh, switched, and that's what happens when the Bucks run off three in a row. And our man, Mr. Tim, called it. And uh, now the Greek Freak is obviously minus $4. And uh, even, even Chris Paul is behind Devin Booker in case the Suns win the last two to win it. And obviously that could switch again. If Chris Paul has a couple big games and the Suns pull it out, uh, you know, he could cash at 9-1. to one. But, yeah, big, big switch from last week. Tim, the question is not that you've been on the Bucks throughout the series, which you have. The question is, for a better, is it too late to get in now with the price that we've seen there with Giannis? Depends what your budget is, right? I mean, if you got a ton of money and you want to tell everybody you had Giannis to win the MVP, sure, jump in. I mean, Nick knows this as well as anybody. He's going to accept every minus 400 bet in the world because all he needs to do is win one, and then you have to win five bets in order to show a profit. But if you listen to me and you held and you waited and you watched what you saw from Giannis in the first two games, and then you jumped in. I said there was an opportunity there when they were down 2-0 to not only bet the Bucks, which were plus 375, you could have got Giannis as high as plus 500. And if you watched the first two games, you saw the block shot in game one. You saw him get tired a little bit in game one. There's the block I was talking about. That was in game one coming off a hyperextended knee. Game two, he had a 40 piece. And then you had to figure, all right, they're going to go back to Milwaukee and they're going to take both games. Can they win one game on the road? That's what I was handicapping the entire time. I thought Milwaukee could win in Phoenix, and I wasn't so sure Phoenix could win in Milwaukee. If you bet Phoenix in the series, this series could be over. You know, they close out game four with up nine in the fourth quarter, and they win the last game. They could have won this series. Tommy, this series has come down to four or five possessions, and that's why coaches talk about how hard it is to win a championship. But if you got the Bucks right now headed home, the Deer D District is going to be jumping. I'm thinking about making the ride up there, Tommy. Maybe wear the tuxedo, jump around a little bit. Yeah, maybe you can go from renting it to buying that of what you've got right now going on with you. Looking good, Tim. I'm just saying. Uh, Nick Bogdanovich has been telling us, by the way, through the NBA Finals, at least through games three, four, and five here, that the series price has sort of mirrored some of the MVP odds. So as we're taking a look right now at the series price, we're seeing, what, Milwaukee laying the $4 right now? And we're taking a look at sort of the projections. Nick, where are we at? And how much action are you still taking this, this late in the series? Yeah, a ton of action. Uh, People are hedging uh, future bets. Uh, people are jumping in and out, expecting runs like the Bucks won when they did their three-game winning streak. But yeah, it's, uh, the series price is minus four dollars, plus three twenty, exactly the same price as Greek Freak to win the MVP. So uh, the one thing we have learned in this entire uh, playoff run, though, things change fast in every series from the very beginning of round one things have flipped real fast so if you're a phoenix suns fan out there don't give up just yet no it's uh, very well in their reach and we've talked about how close this has been by the way let's take this time to give tim doyle his due right to get him a little dubs here this is his recent nba finals picks on cbs sports hq talking about bucks money line nobody else was taking that in terms of game five at plus money his only miss was Chris Middleton, the under 24 and a half points. Middleton had been trending that way, but he came back in game four with a tremendous result there, helping the Bucs get these three wins in the NBA Finals. And then, Tim, there's still three left to be determined. Bucks to win the series. Giannis MVP at 450, we may add. And then the Bucks in six or seven, which we said the exact price is you can get even more plus dollars. Yeah, it feels good. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. You know what I mean? I just think back to trading places, all right? I'm going to show my age. And at the end, when Dan Aykroyd and uh, Eddie Murphy made all the money, Dan Aykroyd's sitting on a boat, and he goes to Eddie Murphy, looking good, Lewis. And he says, feeling good, Billy Ray. So, like, that's what I feel right now. Bought myself a tuxedo. Yes, I put it on very early in the morning to have my coffee. I am going to wear a tuxedo this entire day. Is that unusual? No. But you got to celebrate the win. 
And as we talked through this series with Nick, I started to get more and more excited because I didn't forget, Nick, you told me heading into the finals, the bookies were heavy Suns. They had a lot of Suns action. I love what he says, oh, we had a lot of Nets action. We had a lot of Lakers. Well, you won all those bets. And now all of a sudden, all the people that were holding Suns futures, no, they're not looking so hot. And if you remember, I was holding a Suns future and I cashed out early. And it actually wasn't my being. My wife wanted new floors and the house painted. So I cashed out early. And what has this taught me, Tommy? You never go broke taking a profit. I took a profit with the Suns and now sitting so chilly with the Bucks. Well, the thought price is always Nick. Let me throw it back to you for this game six. Set the line, give me the total and what notable action you guys are seeing so far. You know, great action so far. This is going to be a monster bet game. Well, we got the Bucks five. The total's 222 and a half. Uh, strangely enough, we're close to going to four and a half. There's been some early Suns money, so people are not jumping ship yet. So, uh, ton of action in the pot. We got Milwaukee five. The total 222 and a half. Tim, what's the play? If I wasn't heavy Bucks and I am in the bed with the Bucks every which way. Like, the Bucks are a pillow, and I have them between my legs. I mean, that's how much I love them right now. But I'll tell you this right now. If you bet the Suns, I have a lot of respect for you. I mean, that takes a lot of courage. It's the ultimate contrary move to bet Phoenix, who's lost three straight, that have gone up to Milwaukee and have had a hard time breaking 100 in each game. Bucks are playing with all sorts of confidence. It's going to be an electric atmosphere. Uh, game five was the first game an underdog, you know, covered with the Bucks winning straight up in Phoenix. I'm not going to bet Phoenix because I'm so in bed with the Bucks. I have a lot of respect for you if you bet Phoenix. I'm just going to hold a money line ticket here. If you don't want to lay 200, obviously throw it in a parlay, get some baseball action going. I don't know, get some golf action going. That way you can only lose that fixed amount. But if you bet Phoenix, I'll tell you this right now, I want to hang out with you. <laughs> Tim, one more thing before we get to the prompts right now. I don't know if people believe in the Scott Foster bad juju. Scott Foster is going to be officiating tonight. Chris Paul, the last 12 games in the playoffs, has not gone his way. We're also seeing here that the Bucks are very good in games three through seven in the postseason. When people see trends and things that are all over social media, uh, how do we interpret that? Do you take any stock into those things? Uh, of course. I mean, here's what I take stock in, Tommy, and this is how I handicap the Bucks. They've lost one game at home in the postseason. And what did it take? Uh, Trey Young had 48 points, and it was game one after a very emotional series against Brooklyn. I thought Milwaukee came out there, lollygagged through the game, and they got caught by their little brother, the Atlanta Hawks. Now, we almost saw a repeat special performance by Devin Booker in game five. So basically, the formula is out there. For the Suns to win this game, Booker's got to have like 49 points. That could happen. Go through the losses the Bucks have had over the last month or so, Trey Young, 48 points. Kevin Durant, 49 points. A game Giannis gets hurt in. Like, start looking very closely at the Bucks losses, and then you're like, oh, Bucks really haven't lost that bad considering all the circumstances. So, hey, it's sports. Anything could happen. Suns could go out there and make 22 threes and play the game of their life. But, man, they are trending in the wrong direction. And the fact that Milwaukee has all the momentum and they're going to be in their own city with their own fans, I think it's hard to pick against them. Get your top prop, Tim. Uh, Suns team total under. All right, it's 108 and a half. So far in this series, they have averaged only 101 points. But I want to give you every team in Milwaukee, okay? Only 101 in Milwaukee. The Heat, two games, 102 points. Okay, Nets, three games in Milwaukee, 89 points. The Hawks, even under that number, 106. And now the Suns, like I said, barely over 100. So, like, how could you think they're going to get 109 points? Like, look at the numbers here for their road in the postseason. You know, majority of those games are trending in the wrong direction. You've got 92 and 82 out there. And obviously, you see the two games in Milwaukee. So, I think this is going to be a low-scoring game. I think Milwaukee wins this game with their defense. And the fact that they won that game in Phoenix, you got to think Phoenix right now in the back of their mind is like four or five possessions. We could have won this series. Instead, Milwaukee's holding the dominant hand. And I feel like Leo in the Gatsby GIF. Enjoy, everybody. The Bucks are going to be your world champion.
Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.